this is Wes Dobry, and I wanted to walk you through a little bit about how I do a Kerberos auto login with iGel devices, leveraging some custom scripts that I wrote, and how to auto launch a kiosk style browser on an endpoint. So what we have here is I have a few things shown in my UMS. I have my Kerberos auto logon profile, which I have applied to my Kerberos auto login folder. And if we take a look at this profile here, it's very simple. All that it is is a single custom application set to, in this case, I have a desktop icon and to auto launch. And it just simply runs bash, runs a script that we provide in, as a file, a authentication domain, and a template key for uh, providing the Kerberos URL that we want to actually go to. Next, I also have my template key called Kerberos URL that we just referenced and my template key values so that I can switch these on the fly depending upon what site I want my endpoint to go to. And then we also have my endpoint itself in this folder here. And on this folder, you'll see that I have four objects applied to it. The profile that I just showed, the template key, the script, and lastly, a key tab file, which is my uh, credential for actually authenticating to my Active Directory domain through Kerberos. And you'll see that I have one device in here running on 11.04.240. So if we jump over here, this is my application server. So I'm just going to spin up a simple node server that's actually running my authentication component in a very simple little web server script. Okay, now that's running. And what we're going to do here is I'm just going to, from the local terminal, launch Chromium and go to that website. So, and you'll see I get an HTTP error 401 that indicates unauthorized to this site because I'm not actually passing authentication credentials to it. So I look like an anonymous user to this server. But we know that since I'm providing that key tab file and I have my script, if I manually run my Kerberos login here, what it's going to do is it's going to go ahead and now pass that Kerberos authentication token in my web server replies with my user information that, that's actually allowed. So in this case, now this is a single sign-on with Kerberos to this website. And we could do some very interesting things here around launching this as a kiosk, going to intranet websites, things like your HR portals and open enrollment portals, those types of things to ultimately provide a very good workflow with Linux authentication to Active Directory via Kerberos. Thank you and have a good night.